Let me tell you a tale. A tale about a game. A game that's so rare, it holds more value than the system itself. Innsmouse. Now your Carter is a first person shooter game that's developed by B Top Studios, published by IMAX Interactive. That was released for the Virtual Boy on the 13th of October 1995. That's a Japanese exclusive. Let's check it out. Yo, remember when I said the VB had a shit games library? Well, this has got to be one of the best. An FPS horror game that isn't far from other shooter titles like, well, you know, Doom or Wolfenstein. This is freaking sweet. The player assumes the role as a private detective set in 1922 that must escape a monster invasion and an artifact called the Necomicon. Each stage the player must locate a key in a door within a short time limit. The layout shows your bullets, life, items, keys and stage, which all looks pretty good. There's also a map that can be viewed by pressing the select button and a password system for continuing your progress. The game is essentially a mansion maze that's loosely based off the HP Lovecraft novel, Shadow of the Inn's Mouth. More so the fish-like monsters is what they're referring to. Gameplay is fast-paced and fun. The levels get harder with a gradual difficulty, which can make it pretty addictive. Innsmouse also utilizes both D-pads, one for movement, one for gun controls. Pretty intuitive, especially for a virtual boy game. The screen also shakes or shudders throughout player movement. This combined with sound effects such as footsteps and gunshots gives the game a very creepy vibe, which is awesome. Yeah, the draw distance is short as shit and the gameplay gets repetitive, but seriously, more titles like this might have increased VB sales and overall its lifespan. Innsmouse was actually the last title officially released in Japan for the Virtual Boy, but by that time, the console's fate had already been sealed, with its discontinuation in 1996. But in saying that, this is a true gem and the holy grail of the VB library. Cost me 500 fucking dollars! Looky what we have here, Bram Stoker. Dracula Unleashed is a full motion single player video game that's developed by Icom Simulations, published by Sega and was released for the Mega CD in 1993. The game takes place in London, 1899, where the player assumes the role as the main protagonist, Alexander Morris, collecting items, travelling to specific locations at certain times, gathering clues and solving puzzles. The title was one of the earliest games to make use of full motion. The PC version was praised for its live actors, cinematic realism and creepy performances. The Sega CD port also received a positive reception but was criticised for its slow cursor, excessive loading screens and grainy visuals. Let's check it out. We all know how I feel about these kind of games, but we'll give this one a chance. So you play as Alex, a Texas businessman researching the strange surroundings that revolve around his brother Quincy's death 10 years prior. At some point, Alex meets an English bird named Anistie Bowen, becoming engaged. Long story short, he discovers that his brother was a part of a group that had destroyed the legendary vampire, Count Dracula. The gameplay revolves around an internal clock with a day and night system, which sounds kinda cool. It's not. I'd waste so much time waiting for different periods of the day. Alexander can travel to different locations using a horse and cart, and yikes, it is tedious, and you'll be doing this a lot. As for your items, they can be switched in and out your inventory. There's also narrated recordings guiding the player on what the hell everything is. Majority of this garbage is, yep, yeah, point and click, and even then, there really ain't much of that. Once you have visited a few locations correctly, more mysteries are revealed about the local murders that adds to the story's plot and lore. There's a lot of time wasting, and just to be clear, I spent over an hour carting around. Wasn't much fun, I tell you that. The full motion is not impressing me one bit, and then there's this cutscene. Check this crazy bitch out. Oh, the dude just knocked her out of a club. What the hell? Alexon heads to the Saucy Jack pub where he's told about a library that's somewhere in King's Cross. Luckily, we arrive on time and acquire the book from this cheesy dude, and well, that's as far as the gameplay goes. Go here, go there, fetch this, fetch that. It is boring, man. The question is, is there a place for FMV titles? I'm going to say yes. Look at Sony's Spider-Man and God of War that are nothing like this trash, but do have their moments of auto gameplay, meaning you have no control of many sequences throughout. As for Dracula Unleashed, the game's fucking shit. 
Have a happy Halloween.